Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you what's in my everyday makeup bag. So I've done a few of these in the past and I really enjoy them and also you guys seem to really like them as well because it's one of my most kind of popular videos right now and we have a lot of new subscribers to my channel from those videos as well. So I thought I would do an updated one. My latest one was in autumn so I want to do another one for kind of like this fresh new year and um, also it's kind of like winter as well so it's kind of stuff that i'm using in the winter season it's something that i want to maybe do seasonally on my channel so maybe i'll do another one for like spring and um, summer again autumn and winter um, as the year goes on. I add a lot of new stuff all the time to my makeup bag. I, I also have like a few staples in there which I know work great for me and they're just like my go-tos for every day so I keep them in my makeup bag but I do like to add uh, a few new bits every now and again and um, obviously to try some new stuff also to use up some older makeup that I have as well. So before I get started if you are new to my channel I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below. Click the bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video and if you like and enjoy this video then give it the thumbs up so i've got the same makeup bag as before like i haven't found a makeup bag that i absolutely love to kind of like update this one um as i mentioned before as well like this makeup bag is no longer available uh, it is from ysl um i got it as part of a gift with like a perfume i have all the makeup in here that I'm using right now uh, as you can see is jam packed full of stuff i feel like i want to do like category by category but i don't know if it's going to work out very well for this video because like you just like to pull things out it's a lot easier to show you uh, but i do have a lot of things that i really want to talk to you about because i have some new pieces in here um that i'm excited about and so far i'm really enjoying them i think i'm just gonna go like grab what i can out and just go from there okay so the first thing is the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand so I absolutely love this thing it is absolutely amazing I do use this quite regularly like on the daily like I know it's quite a you know a luxury bougie kind of product that is very expensive you know what I mean to use every day however I just love like the finish that this gives like I won't use it every single day because I do grab like my bronzer and I'll just kind of put that onto my cheeks eh? but when I want a little bit of something or if I have a little bit more time I will use this because I just love the chiseled look that this gives to my cheeks so I do use this um regularly like kind of like every day but not like every day if you're kind of like light medium skin tone this is going to be absolutely perfect for you it is quite dark it is um as you can see kind of looks quite black and when you apply it to the cheeks it looks black and grey but it just gives the most amazing shadow I have it on my cheeks today which I absolutely love so I have that on with a new bronzer which I'm like I just tried today and I'm actually really liking that and I threw it in my makeup bag but I'll share that in a second but yeah love this so I want to share with you the two bronzers here that I have really been loving lately like well one I'm really loving just specifically more for the tone of it um so like these are from she glam um these are their new sunshine no sunside bronzers and the shade that i've been really enjoying is midsummer well i haven't really been enjoying it i just tried it today for the first time and i'm enjoying it that's the shade there of midsummer like it is beautiful it is quite a deep tone bronzer like if you are kind of medium skin tone medium to maybe slightly tan skin then this will look beautiful on you it's a beautiful matte bronzer that just looks absolutely flawless on the skin like it's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today I really really love it I love the tone of this one specifically I have also Dawn Glow which looks like that so Dawn Glow as you can see is a lot lighter and um, which is good for me when I'm like more fair however I feel like this one is just a little bit better for me because I just love the tone of this one and um, but anyway it's a really nice affordable uh, bronzer with good quality and so far i've been really enjoying them so i've stuck them into my uh, everyday makeup bag so that i can get more use out of them um because i just got them lately because they are new but they are a lot cheaper than this bronzer here which i have been obsessed with i've been using this like every single day for the past few months like it's amazing but uh, it's so expensive you know and it's very hard to get a hold of it's constantly out of stock um this is the dior a uh, face and body powder no powder so i realized this is out of stock all the time because i've been looking to get the darker shade again this is 4n and uh, i want to get 5n so that's what 
four end looks like there like this is the most beautiful luxury bronzer I've ever used it's not really a bronzer it's actually like a setting powder for a deeper skin tone and um, however I use it for bronzer it's absolutely beautiful I love it so much I do want to pick it up and 5N and I also actually want to get another one of this shade too which is 4N for when I run out of it because this is always always sold out so yeah love that the next thing here I've added to my makeup bag is this here from Anastasia this is their clear brow gel so I got this and I think it was the look fantastic beauty chest um, and I wanted to try it so I thought I'd throw it into my makeup bag so that I remember to try it and I tried this this morning and I really like it it is I love the brush on it it's a nice kind of soft bushy bristle brush like that because if you guys know I use um let me just grab it out of here I use my benefit one all the time this is the 24 hour brow setter this is beautiful but if you can maybe see the brush on this it's a little bit hard to open as well actually this um but anyway that's the brush on the benefit one so if you can see there it's like a harder kind of more plasticky bristle brush whereas the anastasia one is kind of like soft bristles um but anyway it feels really lovely on the brow let's see when you're applying it it's really really nice and soft on the brows i'm happy i've put that in there and something a little bit different because i have been using this for like a long time like many years um so it's nice to have a little change so i've put a foundation in my makeup bag here that i want to use more daily because it's a lot cheaper than my high-end um uh, foundations that i'm using um, and one of you guys pointed out to me that this comes in two formulas which I never knew. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 32 Hour Foundation. So that comes in a matte type of formula and also comes in a luminous finish formula. This one here is the luminous finish one. The other one I have is the kind of slightly matte version which is beautiful it's super flawless however I tried this one the other day there and so far I'm really liking it this one I can see it has a lot more luminosity to it Um, the shade is also a little bit different however I still really like this shade and um, the shade is 200 natural line so yeah I've thrown this in my makeup bag to use more daily because it is a lot more cheap like it's a lot cheaper than like my NARS you know light reflecting foundation my Giorgio Armani luminous silk like I wear them a lot but they obviously are a lot more expensive and a lot of the shades in the foundations are sold out just now um, especially Barcelona from NARS Light Reflecting I love that I need to get a new one so um, I'm going to try and use these um, or try and use that more drugstore affordable foundation and I think it's a really great um, foundation for this winter time because it gives like luminosity a little bit of a glow to your skin in this kind of dull weather um, so yeah and the other foundation that I have really been enjoying lately is this one from Bobbi Brown this is their um, intensive serum foundation first of all the pla the packaging is just 10 out of 10 it's just absolutely stunning this packaging and it should be for the price because it's very 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 expensive however it's kind of like a skincare product as well as makeup product because it has the serum and lot of like healthy beneficial ingredients inside the foundation so i absolutely love this it's gorgeous it gives a really nice glow to the skin it's very very lightweight just like the um l'oreal infallible they're very kind of like watery type of foundations um so they feel very very lightweight on the skin wear beautifully throughout the day so i have my hair i don't know if you guys have noticed i have it curled today which it's kind of like my first time trying out my um ghd curling wand and i absolutely love like how my hair looks it's not perfect i'm still trying to you know figure out how what way to hold the wand and things like that because it's you know there's different ways to hold the wand to get different curls and also i need to figure out how to really perfect the front parts because they are the hardest uh, parts to do <laughs> kind of thing because i you know you want them to go a certain way but so far from my first attempt i think it looks pretty nice and yep yeah, i loving i'm loving the finish 
of it so far but I am still practicing with it. So this is a mascara that I've been using for a while. It's the Bobbi Brown, I think it's the Bobbi Brown Smoky, yeah, Smoky Eye Mascara. It's a little mini of it and I have really been enjoying this. It is actually really beautiful and um, gets me really nice kind of long separated lashes. That's the brush on it there. It's a soft bristle brush um, and it's quite thin. Um, it's different to like the L'Oreal one that I've been using a lot and saying that is my L'Oreal one in here. I don't know where my L'Oreal mascara is right now. I need to find that because that's usually in this makeup bag as well but this is the one that I have been really enjoying for a while now and I also put in one of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascaras this is a brand new little mini I have a bunch of little, little minis of these so I thought I would throw one in my everyday bag just in case you know I want to do something a little bit more glam on my eyes on a normal day throughout the week so yeah I have that in there because I absolutely love that mascara I also have my face powder in here from NARS. This is the light reflecting face powder. So this one is really nice to just um, set your under eyes, um, you know, the concealer under your eyes um, because it's very, very, very silky. It's very, very smooth and it's very, very lightweight for the under eyes. And it's also more convenient to use every day because then I don't have to pull out like my big setting powder tub and kind of like, you know, put some into the cap swirl it alone put it on my face this is just really quick and easy because you know you just tap your brush in there and just lightly dust it onto your under eyes you can also use it for to set the rest of your face as well which i do and yeah really great for every day it's very very light has a nice kind of like light reflecting luminosity to it Um, it's just beautiful for like every day it gives a nice little glow to the skin so that's in there um and then the concealer that i or the concealers that i have been really enjoying lately are these two from nars they're in my makeup bag as well um, this is the Radiant Creamy and this one is the Soft Matte. So this one here obviously is a lot more kind of radiant and creamy for the under eye. Very, very lightweight. However, this one is more matte but it has a very, very lightweight formula to it as well. So yeah, love this. This is just perfect if you want that flawless, absolutely flawless under eye and conceals everything. This is the one that you should go for. Uh, but if you like something that's quite lightweight and great for every day, then the Radiant Creamy is perfect. Love both of these. Okay, so I have this eyeshadow palette in my makeup bag. And I don't do eyeshadow every day on my eyes. Um, however, I like to keep this one in my makeup bag because it's like a really easy kind of go-to palette to use. It's, as you can see, it's kind of like warm to neutral. Yeah, um, it's all kind of like brown ish shades in there which is great for like every day. I like to just tap my brush into a bunch of these shades and like you know apply it into my crease. Um, so when I want to do something on my eyes then this is uh, the palette that I will just gravitate towards because I know it's quite easy and I know the formula is great in that of this. Um, it's great for everyday type of looks and it's also great for like nights, evening looks as well because you can really smoke up you know, like have these sultry eyes with like these darker shades right here. Um, so yeah, that's the Makeup by Mario Master Matte Palette. Um, and then I also have this in my makeup bag, which is the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Colour Stick in the shade Rose Gold. So this is like a really nice kind of, um, I don't know if you can see that there, but there's beautiful rose almost champagne -y kind of colour, like a champagne rose shade which is beautiful to like sweep onto the lid um, with a couple of those brown shades from the Mario palette onto like my eyes. Um, yeah, because obviously the Makeup of Mario palette has all mattes in it. So this gives a little bit of a kind of like a shimmer slash metallic look on the lids and it's just really easy to, you know, to use. Right, so these are the three brow products I have in my makeup bag. So this one you guys are familiar with. This is what I use all the time on my brows. This is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3.5. You can see that there. 
just a perfect kind of like neutral brown shade that's what I have on my brows today matches my hair colour perfectly so that I absolutely love I love the formula of this the pencil is great it's so um like I'll swatch the shade for you so you can get an idea of it like that's the shade right there that's 3.5 this goes on very very kind of easily and creamy like you don't have to stab your brows and then this one here I want to try out so I'll put this in my makeup bag I got this lately and it was either an advent calendar or a limited edition beauty box I can't remember I think it's an advent calendar and um, it's from Refi so I haven't tried anything really from this makeup brand before. This has the same shade basically. It's almost the same shade yeah, as the Benefit Precise of My Brow in 3.5. Like the bottom one there is the Refine. And then the top one is the Benefit one. So they look very, very similar in colour. So I feel like there's gonna it's going to really match my brows well. And the pencilness is also very like easy to use it's you know you don't have to stab your brows you literally get with the lightest a touch you get a really good stroke from it um so yeah that i'm excited to use i put that in my makeup bag so that i remember to use it and then i also put this brow pencil as well in it from iconic london but i don't think this one is actually going to work well for me first of all i'm not liking the pencil like it's very very stiff like if you can see here I don't know how it'd be when I kind of like apply it on my brows but while I'm just swatching it like this it's quite stiff and the shade is pretty light there is like a um felt tip side here which is a bit darker as you can see so if you add that in maybe it'll make it a little bit darker for my brows however that's a bit of a hassle so I don't know about this it's in the shade chestnut I think it's going to be too light for my brows so I have this also in my makeup bag like I have a bunch of lip products in my makeup bag which I think that's mostly what I have left so yeah um I put this in here from Iconic London it's their lip gloss in the shade I have no clue in the shade feeling it which is a nice kind of nude pink color like so doesn't have like too much pigment to it um I don't know if you guys can see that but it's like great to wear like every day you know it's a really nice everyday lip like apply some lip liner and then just apply that on top great for every day and then this one here I have in here which is new as well from Anastasia it's not new it's new to a makeup bag and it's new to me it's the Anastasia clear gloss so I just love you know a clear gloss on top of a lot of my lipsticks I use the by Terry lip balm which is kind of like a gloss and um, I've been using that for a while you guys know <laughs> I always mention it it's amazing I don't have it in my makeup bag right now because I'm trying to take a little bit of a break from it and try some new stuff and um, yeah because I only have like one or so of them left like little minis then I'll have to go and buy a full size which is quite expensive but anyway I'm going to try this out I got this again and I think the beauty chest will look fantastic Um, I've tried this a couple of times already it's really nice and just a really nice clear gloss it's very like smooth on the lips you know it's not like sticky or anything like that and then I have another gloss which I've just tried today I put it in my makeup bag because like it's definitely right up my street with the colour and it's the morphe make it big plumping lip gloss so i have this on my lips today but i'm going to apply a little bit more because i have been talking non-stop so mm. it's very kind of like smooth on the lips and i can really feel the plumping it's quite that like kind of minty tingle but a nice cooling tingle so it feels actually really nice on my lips um, and my lips have been like really bad lately like they've been really dry so this feels really nice and comfortable on the lips I think that will definitely become a new favourite lip gloss of mine and then I also have this on my lips I put this in my makeup bag because I used it the other day again like I have the whole collection of these Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood lips I think they're called they're like these matte liquid lips they are amazing on the lips they're so creamy smooth and I feel very comfortable, really so comfortable on the lips. So I have the whole collection of these. I haven't used them in a while, so I thought I would, you know, 
use them again. This shade in particular is one of my favourites. It's the Charlotte Darling shade. Um, so it's kind of like this peachy nude colour. Like, let me just show you. There we are. Yeah. Has like the hint of pink in it as well, which is just perfect for me. Um, it's like so creamy smooth. Like, it's just beautiful. If you haven't checked these out, then definitely try try them because the formula is amazing. Like, everyone's going to love these. Like, for that matte finish, but it doesn't have that matte drying effect you know it's they're so comfortable like they're moussey they're like yeah they're like a moussey texture that dry matte they don't budge they're just lovely i also have oh i have this on my makeup bag i'll share this just now this is the anastasia um pro pencil it's a nude eyeline pencil which i use my waterline a lot because it really kind of brightens and you know awakens the eye and takes away that pinky look on the waterline so this is what I have on my eyes today I wear this all the time it's amazing some other lip products that I have in here are these lipsticks so this one is the MAC under the covers this is like a really nice deeper pink shade which I'll swatch for you that's it there this is beautiful it's so creamy like I think this is from like their um I don't know if this is a luster formula not luster I don't know the kind of range this is from uh, but it's the love me lipstick and under the covers it's just a beautiful beautiful formula it's very creamy has a nice glossy finish to it like a nice shiny finish to it and then I also have this one which is in the matte range it's the honey love shade which again I'll swatch here as you can see this one is more nude so even though it's uh, from the matte range it's so comfortable on like very comfortable it's not like the retro mattes because the retro mattes from MAC are very very drying like oh, they are ridiculously drying however the matte range are a lot more comfortable a lot more creamy on the lips and then I also have this one which I haven't used in a while it's the Charlotte Tilbury bitch perfect lipstick like this is so beautiful it's nice and creamy and it's like this kind of peachy nude has a lovely little shine to it as well then i have a bunch of other things in here which are lip liners oh this one's not actually this here i'm very 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 excited about so this is the she glam um what's it called again the fairy wand um which is like a little highlighter pencil um, that's it. That's the shade of it right there. It's in the shade Ethereal. I'll just give it a little swatch here. There we are. Like, as you can see, super high shine and glowy. This is um, what I'm actually wearing on my face today. So, the kind of highlighted areas on my face, you can see like the inner corners here on my nose. And I got a little bit here on my cupid's bow and it's so beautiful because it's nice and creamy to apply to the face and you can just use your finger to just like you know kind of blend it in or tap it out slightly you know just rub it on the nose there and then you just like do that with your finger and it just blends it out really nicely again in the inner corners and as you can see it's got such a kind of like really beautiful shine off it yeah and it's not like that sparkly shine where there's like glittery bits everywhere it's kind of just a smooth shiny finish which i personally love so this i absolutely love for highlighting like the you know the center of my face beautiful and then i have a bunch of lip liners to share with you so um one that is just my ride or die is the mac oak like i cannot get away from this thing it's absolutely amazing um, I use this all the time. As you can see, it's going really down. Um, so I'm going to swatch it right here. It's kind of like this brown shade, but it's a little bit deeper. It's not too too light, but it's not too dark either. Um, I also have Hazelnut from Anastasia, which is beautiful. Um, quite similar to the Oak shade from MAC, but yeah, just maybe a little bit lighter i love wearing that it's like nice and creamy that one the mac one's a little bit kind of like more drier but like stays on my lips amazingly that's why i love mac formula then i also have these two 
in my makeup bag which I've just lately put in um, so I'm wearing this one on my lips today That's this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Iconic Nude so everybody loves this shade and it is beautiful and everything it's a lot deeper than what you would expect it to be like that's it right there it has a very kind of mauve undertone to it, like a greyish mauve undertone to it um, yeah so I have it on my lips today which is good for like giving you that really nice deep contoured uh, lip uh, nice and creamy but it has a little bit of a like a sticking creaminess so it drags a little bit but it kind of like stays on that makes sense like yeah um then i put this one in my makeup bag because i haven't used this one in a long time this is the elizabeth arden naked nymph lip liner which looks like the perfect shade for me like for all my pinky nudes like that's the shade right there this one is more of a pinky one the other ones are more kind of like on the brown and slightly mauve tone whereas this one's nice and pink for like my pinky lips um, like especially that under the cover shade and also to pair with some of the glosses that I have as well there so excited to use that one more that's why I put it in my makeup bag so that I can get more use out of that okay so that is everything inside my makeup bag and um, so I'm going to put everything back in there in a second but yeah so these are like the products that I have been really enjoying lately and um, obviously I have some new products in there which I'm really excited to test out especially that brow product from Refi I think it looks great it looks very similar to the uh, one from Benefit yeah so I really hope you liked and enjoyed this video like I said I will do this more regularly so I will do another one um, in springtime so I'm excited to see what I'll put in my bag then that's it for this video I really hope you liked and enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up Hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and I'll speak to you very soon in my next video. Bye.